seasonal flow from two of Western Australia's river systems is trapped in coastal storages and used to supply the inland gold fields and a large section of the cereal and sheep producing areas of the state. Eventually, some 12 million acres of farmlands in the area shown will be supplied from these sources under the comprehensive water supply scheme. The northern section of this scheme draws its water from Mundaring Weir and supplements local supplies in towns and farmlands in the central and northeastern wheat belt areas. A trunk main, 350 miles long, built almost 70 years ago for the goldfields water supply, has become the backbone of a new supply system from which water is distributed by main line or secondary pumping units. The construction of pipelines in the reticulation network involves thousands of miles of mains of varying diameter that branch out to serve farmlands and associated townships. Storage reservoirs at intervals are an important part of the scheme. They provide an operating reserve and ensure a continuity of supply in the event of a breakdown in the main supply system. The peak summer demand for water is met in part by drawing supplies from these storage reservoirs. Total capacity of the various receiving, regulating, service and standby tanks in the scheme amounts to many millions of gallons. Electrically driven pumping machinery is used in the complex distribution systems. Elevated storage tanks and large circular tanks from ground level facilitate the gravitation of the supply in certain areas. thus ensuring adequate operational heads to consumer services. The provision of scheme water to distant country towns in Western Australia creates a new concept of living conditions. It reduces the hazard of serious summer shortages and brings security of water where local supply schemes cannot reliably meet the demands of stock and domestic needs. Under emergency conditions, the scheme provides the farmer with a source of water for stock drinking and enables him to carry his flocks over a predictable period, where previously it was customary to reduce numbers by severe culling before the onset of summer. In certain dry areas, where the soil is suitable for holding water, key dams are excavated to provide additional supplies. Farmers are also encouraged to develop their own water resources while enjoying the advantage of supplementary scheme water. This makes for sound basic farm management. The comprehensive water supply scheme achieves its aim in making rural living more attractive. Among the improvements to health services made possible in country towns is deep sewerage. Subject to public health regulations, 
and under certain conditions, waste water from the treatment works can often be used in conjunction with local storm water storages for the reticulation of playing fields. surge in town pride results in the desire to provide quickly facilities previously not possible. Water is piped to more than a hundred towns and settlements in the northern part of the scheme, spread over nearly five million acres of farmlands in the central and northeastern wheat belts. The area served in the southern section of the comprehensive water supply scheme has its source at Wellington Dam. Wellington Dam with a storage capacity of 41,000 million gallons, is the largest in the state. A trunk main, 80 miles long to Narogen, comprised the first stage of construction in this part of the scheme. Continuous welding of the pipe sections followed the method pioneered in the construction of the Goldfields pipeline. For approximately 40 miles from Wellington Dam, the pipeline traverses rugged hills of the Darling Scarp, covered with dense Jarrah forest. Pumping stations are fully automatic and are equipped with centrifugal pumps driven by electric motors. In the event of failure of the duty unit, a standby is automatically brought into service. Switchboards consist of many panels carrying the extensive equipment necessary for automatic control. Pumping stations reverse the flow, bringing water from hundreds of miles away and making it available to industry. To major power stations, supplying electricity into grid systems. And for numerous other requirements further afield. Principal works included the construction of service tanks, which are usually concrete based to preserve the clarity of the water. permanent water supply spells sweet success with gardens that flourish in summer. A stepping up in commercial activity and the normal concourse of progressive educational and community life. Pipelines constructed south, north and east carry the water from its source at Wellington Dam. 
Provision is made for service connections to properties along the route, and advantage is taken of this facility by landholders. Control valves are operated to regulate a sizable head of water constantly on the move throughout the scheme. In some country towns, progress was measured and slow until the coming of a permanent water supply. This and changed economic circumstances have hastened development and combined to attract a big increase in population. With a comprehensive water supply scheme, the state brings some of its winter rainfall bounty to country people when it's needed most during the long, dry summer. <laughs> <laughs> 